2021 Lexus is 350F Sport Review. But before we start, please support us by pressing the like and subscribe buttons, so that we can continue to provide information about car and motorcycle news. Also turn on the bell button to get the latest updates. Your support means a lot to us. Thank you. In the land of compact luxury sedans, the Lexus is has always been a solid option, but never a standout. Even when the absurdly good as F was still around, RIP, better alternatives like the BMW M3 and Mercedes C63 overshadowed it. And unfortunately for Lexus, even with the arrival of the new as this year, that sentiment still rings true. The 2021 Lexus is is the same middle of the pack luxury option that it's always been. This certainly is not a bad car by any stretch, the is is extremely comfortable, more stylish now for 2021, and offers a comprehensive suite of standard safety equipment that many of its competitors lack. But only the exterior and some interior bits change for 2021. Otherwise, the carryover powertrain options and updated infotainment interface leave something to be desired, plus this vehicle does get pricey with options. Initially, you might not be able to tell the difference between the 2021 is and last year's model. But look closer, the front fascia is now noticeably sharper than it was on its predecessor. Slim triple beam headlight fixtures with embedded LEDs decorate each corner, there's a larger grille with diamond-shaped mesh, and the side vents are more angular. For the F Sport package specifically, there are even special front bumper treatments, a carbon fiber rear spoiler, and 19-inch matte black wheels. From there, the side body lines are more aggressive. There's a hard crease that extends from the side sill to the rear fender that we really like, joined by a more noticeable belt line that runs like a quick brush stroke front to back. And the rear end now wears a full-width light bar with angular LED light fixtures on either side. Last year's Lexuses didn't look bad, but this one looks way better. The inside of the new is isn't all that different, but it's not that last year's version needed much work anyway. The 10.3-inch touchscreen now sits atop the dash, rather than embedded within it, which we could take or leave. The ashwood trim pieces adorning the door panel and steering wheel, specific to the $4,200 dynamic handling package, are a nice touch, and the updated F Sport seats look good in circuit red faux leather. But the cabin does still look a bit dated comparatively. Even with the F Sport package and the 19-inch wheels, the Lexus is still rides well. The suspension setup is mostly a carryover from last year, but the new for 2021 adaptive suspension, only available as part of the $4,200 dynamic handling package, feels silky smooth eco and normal modes and only stiffens up a bit in Sport S and Sport S+. Plus. Even in those sportier drive modes, the ride is taut but not backbreaking, meaning you can drive it around town in the most aggressive settings. The seats in the is are some of the best in both the segment and in general. The red new looks faux leather F Sport buckets, in this case, fit like a perfectly sized driving glove, and they're both heated and ventilated with the $1,900 comfort package equipped. The cushioning is superb and the bolstering is excellent, plus the seating position itself makes you feel like you're in a literal cockpit. The location of the steering wheel and the way the dash envelops the driver connects you to the car. The only ding against the is in the comfort department is the rear passenger space. The 38.2 inches of front headroom is solid for the class and the 44.8 inches of front legroom best most alternatives, like the BMW 3 Series, the Audi A4, the Acura TLX, and most others. But it's the back seat where the Lexus's struggles. The rear entryway is tight, headroom is a middling 36.9 inches, Audi, BMW, Volvo, and a few others are better, and rear legroom is among the worst in its class. The back seat of the is simply isn't a comfortable place to sit over long distances.
Thanks for watching. Drop a like, leave a comment, and don't forget to subscribe to watch more videos like this.